guys at YouTube Land, uh, well, today marks the official day we've got our Gamer Block. Uh, they've got changed over from the RK Block to now Gamer Block, and we decided to go for the uh, Mature M. Mature? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hmm. So we'll see how that goes. As you just heard, Rob's just off to the side here. He can join us in. Yes. Oh, I can join you in, can I? Yes, join in. Oh. Blah, blah. Which, which, which part's coming apart? I have no idea. You have to forgive me. Oh, blending in. Oh, my God. All, all you can see is a head. That's actually kind of creepy, but all, all, pretty all cool. You... We had to have a bit of a wardrobe change. Rob was blending in too well with the black blankets behind us here. Yes, I actually was wearing my darker theme because of the colorization on this mm. looked terrible. Yes, so quick wardrobe change. Okay, well, you're used to these by now. <laughs> in my t shirts. That's true. So we're going to open our mature gamer block. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rob's already done his video, so that will be uploaded before mine. Um, but uh, from there, let's see what's in this box. Oh, it doesn't do what it used to. No, no, it's a different setup. Unblocking tips. Okay. Snap, share, nerd out. Share hashtag nerd block with your for your chance to win prizes. Okay, I'll put that. Given that it's a mature one, I hate to know what those prizes are. Yeah, well, I, actually, that's not only for Facebook, because that's a Facebook thing. Mm. Um, so when we link the YouTube channel, just no, put yeah. that as a tag. Yeah. Hashtag um, Nedblock. Alrighty. I suppose we better start with a t-shirt that's usually here. Oh, it's white. Yes, it's quite white. Okay, so it's a shirt punch shirt, so we're back to shirt punch. Last month's was a um, exclusive nerd block one. Mm. So what have we got here? Okay. Oh, it went pink for a minute. There. I saw that. Um, I think it must be a, a T Rex. I, I love how it's changing colour. That's amazing. By the way, that doesn't happen when you get it. No, unfortunately, it's, it doesn't change. It, it, it doesn't um, change colour because this is the, the crummy lighting on this thing. Yeah, so that's <laughs> just gone flying. Uh, it looked like a T Rex head um, on the T-shirt there, just of um, lots of teeth in the T Rex. Head. Yes, not so, without Mark Bowl and insight. Okay, we have a mini chicane projector. Oh, it's um. No, I didn't notice that. I could, I, I couldn't read the darn thing. Yeah, it's for Sniper Elite Four, which actually is released today, as far as I know. Um, T today's date being fifteenth uh, of 15th. February, nineteen something. <laughs> so when's that released? I actually have a feeling this was released either yesterday or today. Um. I honestly don't know, but I know it was just released. Um, uh, effectively, it's it's it was in its cage, and and now the the thing's going to be released. Yes, but all this is is it's a little torch with crosshairs, like you would see through a scope. Mm. Which, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I do actually like that one. <sighs> At least it's a little torch. Yeah, that's true. Like the, the one last, uh, last yeah. one. Yeah, at least I didn't blind myself with this one. No, I think they're giving you a collection of torches. Right? Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we've got a badge. The Lone Wanderer. As opposed to the Happy Wanderer. Hmm. So it's just a badge to wear from Gamma Block. Oh, wax off. Does I not go wax on? Wax off. Wax on? Well, wax on could also mean something else. Well, we'll leave that one alone. Well, it is a mature one. Yeah, well, that's true. So, you know, wax on mature. <laughs> there, well, there you go. So, we've got a Vault Boy bobblehead. 
honestly, I wasn't actually a fan of this game. I did give it a go, and I gave it a good go. I played it for a few days, but... It, it looked like something that harked back from a 1950s sitcom. It kind of does. Oh. It's post-apocalyptic. Oh, okay. Well, so. if it's pre-1950s, wouldn't that make it pre-apocalyptic? Yeah. Well, no, it was... One of those things. Oh, it was, it's the idea that the world basically was starting there. Where Start, it, restarting over. Yeah, so this thing was the 1950s. Okay. Let's see. Bobblehead. Yes. Going back to a previous arcade block, we got another bobblehead. Which now I keep next to my computer. So. Because there's nothing like a little head next to your computer. Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> well, we are mature this time, so... Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't think so, would you? No. Mm. <laughs> so, yes, it's the... Um, it's Vault Boy. I think it's the science one. Um, yeah, there was half a dozen there. I couldn't read some of them. Um, so, yeah, this is the science... Science Ob Boy. Obviously, the look of them is, is, is meant to be geeky. Yes. Yes. It's a very weird game, trust me. It reminds me of Dilton from the Archie comics. What the hell? Event Zero. Hmm. I think, I think it's trying to tell us it's a non-event. In a world where humankind has embraced artificial intelligence, you are stranded on an abandoned spaceship. Event Zero is a game about building a personal relationship with a machine, you type messages into a computer and K's and answers. God, it sounds like a shitty version of Siri. Oh God, don't get me started on Siri. I hate it. And here I am, I'm the one that uses Apple products. It, it, yeah, if you're supposed to have a conversation, it would be cheaper to, to have a gas bag to Siri. Mm. As in any relationship, you experience gratitude, disappointment and sometimes jealousy. It is by working through fears and anxieties of your virtual companion that you'll find your way back to Earth. There's something in the box. Uh, well, they're still giving out the uh, <laughs> nerd block, arcade block, and now game block are still giving out these little um, mm. cards, so I don't know how many we've got now. So. Oh, lots. Yeah, I have to go through them and have a look at what we've got. Yeah, there's quite a few now. Oh, okay, so... Oh, No Block Magazine. It's the Jan so this is January's block. Mm. All right, so we're a month behind. Yeah. All righty. So we've been a month behind the entire time. Oops. Oh, that's oh. just because of how late we get them. Yeah, here in Australia, unfortunately, we get them a bit later than what you would in America. Because that sucks. But anyway. <laughs> Tell me about it. Ah, this actually gives us what's inside the Nerd Block, so I'll... Save that one for afterwards. Because there's one more thing in here. I think. Yep. Yep, last thing. It has a certificate of authenticity. It's from Sega. Sega Europe Limited is a European arm of the Japan based Sega Games Co. Limited. There you go. I have to admit that. Revenge of Shinobi. I actually do remember that game. So was that from the 80s? 80s, early 90s. Yeah, I thought the design looked 80s. Sega was mostly late was 80s, like, early 90s. Yeah, 80s. Hence the game ads that I put up on yeah. the Yeah, actually, we'll put this up on Facebook too. Um, I'll get you to scan that and yeah, awesome. scan it and pop it up as well. Uh, something to pop up there. A little bit different from a game ad from the comics. Yeah, that's true. No, that's similar. <clears throat> similar but different. All right, so... <clears throat> excuse me. A look inside this month's block... Uh, one was the Fallout Bobblehead. You won't have to search far for this bobblehead. Get your very own Vault Tech Bobblehead from the Fallout series. It may not increase any of your special stats, but we're sure it will make your space that much more unique. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose it would make a unique space given that it doesn't take up much. Well, that's it. Yeah. It really actually doesn't. It actually takes up less space than Mortal Kombat Bobblehead. Yeah, but that's Mortal Kombat. Yeah, well, Mortal Kombat is actually quite fun, though. Um, 
Sniper Elite 4, light with reticule. Reticule. Okay. Unless it's another one of these spellings. Like, remember when they were going to body our mind? I remember that. Uh, the pin was a Metal Gear Solid cardboard box pin. We know you need more tactical espionage action in your life. We've included a sneaky cardboard box pin so everyone will know what an excellent spy you are. Careful. This won't really protect you from any Metal Gears. <laughs> Art of, uh, Revenge of the Shinobi Art Print. Support Joe Mashini on his quest for revenge on the criminal organisation Neo Zed. Oh, God, listen. Hmm. No one can get away with killing his master and taking away his bride. You won't need to perform any somersaults or ninjutsu techniques to get this print. Uh, event Zero. Meet Kazen, who's going to be your new your new best friend. Too bad he's a computer and your only ticket to navigate back to Earth. Explore the depths of space and build a relationship with an AI in this month's downloadable game. Yeah, well, oh. when, when the other computer dating things don't work, mm. try that one. Well do. Uh, so the t-shirt was a Tomb Raider t-shirt. I was way off. Uh, suit up for your next adventure and search for forgotten artifacts and explore hidden ruins. You'll be ready to discover ancient treasures with this awesome t-shirt in this month's Gamer M for Mature Block. Next month's theme is Round 2 Fight. <laughs> On that note... On that note, hopefully things are better. I mean, what a... That, maybe the February one, you would think that, oh no, that wouldn't be the mature block because um, they'd be celebrating St. Valentine's Day. Well, that's it. So the, the February block is uh, round two fight. Yes. So interesting choice. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what, maybe the fight will be for them to regain credibility with them. Mm. Yeah, so that's just our opinion, but mm, people yeah. might like that. People, people um, might differ, but sorry, but this, this is... Yeah, because more than likely I'm not going to be able to play Event Zero anyway because of the fact that mm. it is a Steam game and a lot of games don't work for Steam on Mac. Mm. Um, but I'll give it a go and I'll see if I do get to if use it. it works, I'll put a, um, a note in my description on the video saying it actually did work, so I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, please up your game a little bit, guys. Alright. On that note, have a good night. On that night. note, but <laughs> that's say a cheery goodbye. Yes. And uh, we we will see you next month with, with our um, next nerd with, block. with the next nerdy crappy whatever game block mature mature nerdy gamer block. Mm. Yes. And um, oh, they're going to change the name every year. Maybe that's going to be a thing. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe next year it might be something totally different. You never know. Maybe it will be the Tetris block because you can pile one on top of another and still go nowhere. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to look at the big pile of the arcade blocks we've got over there. <laughs> so, anyways, um, please do the like and subscribe thing and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Oh. And um, I, and I'll interrupt as well. Also, go so to Facebook. I'm just going to really. <laughs> also, go to Facebook and look up Dan's game page on there. We also link our um, videos over to YouTube uh, from YouTube as well, um, and Rob. Puts up. Um, still do the comics. Still do the, the comic the, ads. Ad, oh. Ads for the comics. Um, so that's that's always a lot of fun. Um, I'm I'm still finding some, um, and like I said in mine, they range. There's about a forty-five year difference between them. Now. Yes, there's quite a few uh, older ads there that are quite interesting. So we'll keep on doing that as well. Yeah. Oh, I've got a special one for Halloween. But anyway, you can wait and see that on, on Halloween. Yeah, so keep an eye out for Halloween, which is mm, what, months away. Months away now, yeah. It's just, just getting in early. All right. All catch right. you later. Like, <laughs> share, subscribe, and we'll all, see you all, later. All the good things. You take care now, and we'll catch you next time, all right? Bye. Bye.